awesome. We're amazing. <laughs> What's going on guys, if you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Before we jump into today's deck, I just want to remind you if you are not already, please subscribe. I did look at the stats, it's something like 65 to 70 percent of you guys that are watching are not subscribed and that's totally fine. You don't have to if you don't enjoy the channel, please don't. But if you do, it really does mean a lot. It's a great way to support and not only that, but you'll be notified about our new videos and get free entries into all of our giveaways and we do a lot of giveaways. We've got one going on right now for a free Kamigawa draft booster box winner will be announced on February 23rd so keep that in mind but let's talk about today's deck this is actually a version of a deck that we played against uh, very recently which was a Simica Delver deck uh, a few days ago we we found ourselves against this one and I really liked it it, it utilized Delver as well as Storm Chaser Drake uh, and Dragon's Guard Elite some of these really nice creatures that are really cheap but provide a lot of value uh, and so I thought I would build one for myself and just see if I could make it work. Uh, this is not based on anything other than that single game, not sold on it by any means either, but I did want to give it a shot and just see what we could come up with. So this is basically a full on like Delver Storm Chaser Drake style deck. So the idea is these are very cheap creatures. Delver obviously can flip into a 3-2 flyer and start dealing quite a bit of damage. Storm Tracer Drake, anytime it becomes the target of a spell you control, you get to draw a card. So hopefully we can kind of push through for a little bit more. Uh, but we also have things like Dragon's Guard Elite. So whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a 1-1 counter on it that can really, really add up very quickly. Now, the cards that we have to target that, things like Blizzard Brawl. Great option to fight away some of the opposing creatures while also targeting our own. We've got Charge Through, which gives a creature a uh, trample and then also draws us a card. Snakeskin Veil, a great way to throw a counter on something and give it hexproof, so some way some some protection there. And then on top of that, we also have Wild Shape. So this uh, kind of an interesting one, but we can utilize this however we need to. We can give Reach, hexproof, or Trample depending on the situation, uh, and really really capitalize on that. We also have Decisive Denial, a good way to fight away uh, opposing creatures or counter a non-creature spell as we need to. Sweepers are our enemy uh, in this list, and so we want to have a couple of counter spells. Test of Talents is in here as well, uh, so we can get rid of those sweepers all in one shot if we have the opportunity. So very, very good. Now some, pro some protection we do have in our list. We've got Fading Hope as a way to bounce stuff back to our hand as needed, or on the opposing side we can bounce. Uh, and then of course End of the Royal as well. Now I, I included this one solely because we can kick it to draw an extra card if we need to, and I think card draw in here is very important. That's also why we have Consider here, a very cheap way to draw a card and look at the top card of our deck. So uh, gives us a little bit of options here. Obviously we do have Snowlands in here for the uh, Blizzard Brawl, very, very important. Uh, and really at the top end, the only thing we can do is double up the counters on the, the Dragon's Guard Elite. The goal is to win quickly, uh, or at least try to, so I have no idea. I played one game with this. It did go as planned. I mean, we won on like turn four or something like that. It was pretty awesome, but I don't expect that's going to be the case every time. I think this deck is going to have some problems, some growing pains, some things that we need to fix. So. We're going to take a look at it today. We're probably not going to do super well, but we're going to give it a shot anyway and see what we can do. So let's jump right in. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. Now, this has no turn one creature. And again, turn one creatures are pretty important in this list. Now, we do have ways that we can get around that, but I'm actually going to take the mulligan here. Uh, and I think we're going to mulligan again. We're going to see if we can get there. All right, this isn't amazing, but it is an option for us. Uh, let's throw you back and let's throw one of the Delvers back. We'll lead on the Rhymewood Falls. The only trick with this land, it helps smooth out the mana issue that this deck tends to have because we don't have a large land count. We're only running 18 lands in here because we max out at two. The trick is that also leads to issues where you've got nothing but green mana or nothing but blue mana. That's a problem. And so, uh, what I've tried to do is include a couple of these little uh, dual lands. 
but the problem is obviously they come into play tapped we do want the snowlands for the blizzard brawl but it's a little tricky we're gonna lead on the delver i think uh maybe the J the drake would have been a better option but i think that this will be okay i'd like to get this flipped if we can uh and the charge through can obviously draw us a card a land off the top would be amazing in particular a blue land um would be very very good all right there's the werewolf uh fully expected something like that so that's a little scary we'll reveal that uh nice because we can just throw that out there as a uh an option i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna charge through draw a land oh perfect okay uh and we'll just attack in for three here perfect all right we are gonna leave up the decisive denial um as well as the wild shape this gives hexproof which is very important and as you guys know we do have to protect our creatures pretty thoroughly here now next turn what we can do is drop that storm chaser drake and still leave up the wild shape if need be uh, so we'll see what happens. I have no idea. This is going to be interesting. Uh, we also just get to leave up the Decisive Denial here, which is relevant. A uh, little worried about this. Obviously, they're going to outpower us pretty quickly here. So it is something to consider that we may just get beaten up. <laughs> um, as, as sad as that is, it's just the reality of it. Um, interesting. They're going to go for it here. Um... Do we just hexproof it or do we counter it? I think we counter it. The counter seems a lot better here. Uh, we've got the mana for it, and next turn now we've got the option to leave some things up and draw some cards, which is huge. Um, cool. Another land. Uh, that's actually pretty good for us. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we will attack in. We do have to be the aggressors as best we can. Uh, we're gonna leave up the wild shape and see what happens. Um, very curious about this. We can draw a card off the Storm Chaser Drake and it's a relevant card. We could really punch through for quite a bit of damage here. Ooh, a Seekus Chariot. That's scary. Uh, again, they are gonna outpower us here. We know that. Um, Depending on how they attack, we could also try and get a little frisky with our wild shape, um, but we'll see how that works. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. They're gonna attack with both. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna draw a card, uh, but what we get to do is then, oh, perfect. Uh, free block the Sculptor of Winter. Uh, and that snakeskin veil is actually very relevant. Um, we could double up and kill the werewolf. Doesn't seem terrible. Uh, hmm. We've got options. That also draws us another card, which is good. Uh, the opponent's just kind of sitting there. Not really sure why. Um... now <laughs> uh maybe they didn't see that coming i don't know but they literally saw it coming so that seems a little awkward um draw another card test of talents that's pretty interesting as well so now we actually could just get to kill the pack leader which is really the card i'd be worried about so i'm i'm happy to get that out of there this also does just permanently have a counter on it now which is great we did use up both of our hexproof spells though so something to think about Oh, very good. Okay. Uh, we do have all the snowlands we need, so let's go ahead and kill off this. We're going to draw a card off of the Storm Chaser Drake, which is great. Uh, that Test of Talents could be very useful, so we are going to want to leave that up, I think. Um, this is going to kill off the Sculptor, and we get a Wild Shape out of the deal. Perfect. That is fantastic. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in here with both of our creatures. I'm... I, even if we don't win this game, I feel like we put up a fight, which is exactly what I want from this list. I'm not looking to necessarily make, you know, the best plays 100% of the time. I don't think we will. I think, though, that um, we're, we're demonstrating what the deck is trying to do at the very least, and that's really the end goal. Um, all right. They are down to seven. 
Whew. Theoretically, we could win next turn, but we do have to be very, very careful with the way we, we handle the uh, next couple turns here. Or this, this upcoming turn in particular. Ooh, I wish we could counter that. We just can't. Okay. Now, this tree folk does have reach, which is terrifying because that does mean uh, we're going to be in trouble here. But we'll see what we can do. Now, interesting. That might have been a very grave mistake for them. Um, we'll see if they attack with everything. They do. No, they don't. I was going to say, they should. Uh, at least with the Asika's Chariot. Okay, they get a copy of that. That makes sense. That's right. Okay, so yes, they did not make a mistake. That was my fault. Uh, they get to copy this token, so they get another one here. All right, if we draw a bounce spell, we did not draw a bounce spell. Do we push for the bounce spell? Uh, let's do this. Let's target this. Uh, this does make it a lot stronger at the very least, which is relevant. Ooh, no, that's not so good. Um, we have to drop the land. Hmm. So we can attack here. They get to kill the Storm Chaser Drake, but we deal three. Puts them down to four. I don't think we can do it, though. I mean, they just get to attack in for way more on the backlash, so we're pretty dead here, I think. You know what, though? Again, I still think we gave it a decent shot. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, could have been better, of course, but I think we did a, a decent job here. All right, well, now we're just super dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, the oddity is uh, a, the nail in the coffin for sure. Um, we'll... Uh, well, good game them. They definitely got us here. I mean, we can block, I guess, but then we're just dead anyway. So we can block one, two, three. I mean, yeah, literally everything. I think we were just playing to the out of a bounce spell. If we had had a bounce spell last turn, we could have bounced the token and, and made it um, to the win, but we just didn't get there. And that's cool. Again, totally fine. I think we, we stood a chance, which is all we needed. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and concede here, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't get there. Let's jump into a game, too. Let's see if maybe we'll have a little better luck in the next one. All right, guys, here we are for our second game. Uh, you know, weirdly, I am going to keep this. This is a rough, rough start. Um, again, the tapped lands are a tricky one for us, but... We're gonna see if we can do it. If we get a second land, we are fine. Um, we've got all the things we need. The Storm Chaser Drake plus double charge through <laughs> is pretty awesome. It looks like they're gonna mulligan as well, uh, which could be very helpful for us. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, chances aren't super high that we win, but again, we're just here to test. We're here to have some fun. I really love the play pattern of this list. Uh, it seems really fun, so. Maybe it just needs a little tweaking. Again, guys, as always, especially with the deck lists that are of my creation, I know yesterday's deck list was the mono green one that um, I also put together myself. Give me suggestions because a lot of the time I put together a deck very, very quickly and don't really give myself as much time as I probably should take to put something truly, you know, work it, tweak it, all that stuff, uh, solely because I'm, I'm trying to get videos out on a daily basis, so it gets a little tricky, um, but I would love, love, love to get your suggestions. <clears throat> they're gonna kill the Delver. No, they're not, they're gonna foretell. Uh, oh, wow, okay, so we have to decline, but that's kind of interesting. Um, we'll go ahead and attack in here, and I think we just pass, actually. I don't wanna throw the Storm Chaser Drake into what I can only assume is a kill spell or a Doomscar. Uh, that doesn't seem super smart on my end, so we can bounce this if we need to. Um, sure. The Celestis, a fantastic little card. Um, what do we do? Depends what they do, I suppose. Looks like they're not going to do anything, uh, which is kind of fun by me. 
We're gonna play very, very carefully. Uh, that's just, I think, the way you have to play this deck. Reveal. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, I think we just attack in and pass. Again, we don't need to overcommit with the Drake yet. We've got plenty of cards in hand. We've got Decisive Denial to uh, hopefully counter anything that they do, or just Fading Hope. I mean, we could just Fading Hope on our uh, Aberration if we need to bring it back to our hand. But all that to say, we've got options at this point, so I'm not stressing about that. I didn't want to go too counter heavy because this is a proactive, aggressive style deck. Uh, and so that's one area where we've had to be very, very careful with the way that we handle things. Um, whoops. I think we just have to counter this. That's a very annoying, annoying card. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just get that out of there. Now they do have one mana available to them, but I don't think it's anything that we need to worry about. I actually knew of that card, so that's kind of funny. All right. Our plays are very straightforward at the moment. Again, we can survive perfectly fine on two lands. We'd love to have more, but um, we're not really in a hurry. Uh, let me guess, Doomscar. They've got the second white now. Um, no. Uh, let's see. I think we let that hit first. Um, the assumption is they might minus it. Yep. In which case, we do this. So now they've minused it for absolutely no reason. <laughs> uh, and we got a good scry off. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and consider here because we kind of need to. We'll drop that Blizzard Brawl. We clearly don't need that. Um, and another consider is off the top. Okay. Again, playing extraordinarily carefully, we've got a grip full of cards and they've only got two in their hand, plus whatever is hidden, of course. Um, I think it's just Delver. Delver we can protect a little bit easier than um, the, the Storm Chaser Drake since we are short on lands here, but they can't minus the Kaya to get rid of it. Uh, so if they wanna kill it, they're gonna have to do something a bit more spicy. So hopefully they just waste a Doomscar and we can like Fading Hope it back or just let it hit, honestly. Okay, uh, that's challenging, um, but we actually can bounce these. It's kind of important. Um, they can't put it on one of their creatures, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're gonna throw that on the bottom. We just need a land. It's really all we need at this point. Uh, decline. We did get a land, so ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. I'm gonna throw out the Storm Chaser Drake. We're we're risking a pretty big hit here, and we know that. But we need to separate two things here. I think. Um, let's do that. We can charge through at instant speed to draw a card, really draw two cards. This is essentially draw two if we play it on the Storm Chaser Drake. Uh, they can cash in the Kai if they'd like. It doesn't seem like a bad thing to do, given they don't have any non-token creatures out anyway. Um, <laughs> they had to tap their Snowland to do that. That was great. Uh, I think that was just a mistake. Oh, I see. Oh, very interesting. Okay, yeah, can't do anything about that. Pretty solid. Um, all right, uh, kind of an interesting one, but sure. Didn't really expect that, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm gonna take the opportunity to draw a card right now. Two cards, excuse me. Uh, again, just trying to set ourselves up for the following turn at this point. We're going to take eight. That's fine. We still draw the two. Or at least the one. Yeah. Excuse me, not the two. Um, we resolve that. They get to draw and discard a card. Again, I think we're going to end up losing this game, but regardless, we're still just having a good time. We'll reveal that. That's fantastic. Okay. What can we do? Not a lot, uh, if I'm honest. Not a lot at all. 
Um, we can snakeskin veil to this. That doesn't seem great. And bounce that, get rid of a token. That doesn't seem great either, to be honest. <laughs> um, I'm going to attack the Kaya. Uh, they're going to block, and then we're going to snake skin veil. This is a lot just to trade off, but I think it's just the only thing we can do, really. Um, yeah. Again, we're, we're in a pretty sticky situation. Against these kinds of, like, control -y style decks, this will always be a struggle. I think we've actually played relatively well up until this point, um, but I just don't think we're going to make it. <sighs> yep. See, at this point, now they just get to start attacking in with their man lands if they'd like, and uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty done after that. They also are setting up all the buffs with the uh, Kaya, which is very relevant as well, because um, even if we do manage to kill these, they then get a 1-1 flyer which is very annoying for our deck because it actually can uh, handle our stuff quite well. Sure. We're going to venture. Uh, so we're going to take five here. We also have this, which is killing us. So next turn, we're just dead, I think. Sure. Uh, I mean, can't help it. It is what it is. We'll do this. Just see what we draw. We'll throw that into the bin. We'll draw a card. <laughs> we still get the same thing. Um, we can fight that off, but it really doesn't matter because they just get to venture into the dungeon again. So, all right. I think that's it. That's going to be our second loss with this deck. Uh, but you know, honestly, I'm not upset by it. I think we're doing okay with this. So I'm, I'm kind of just enjoying this one. We'll draw a card, just to see. We can't counter this, they've got plenty of mana. Not worth it. Oh wow, Test of Talents, that would have been helpful. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got it. Uh, we'll good game them here. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, concede. They're trying to keep us on the hook here, it looks like. So I'm gonna concede. Let's try for a game three. We got a little bit of time left. Let's see if we can do it. We'll, we'll see if we can get one win. All right, guys, here we are. This is going to be our final game. Uh, and this is an interesting one. Um, hmm. You can only play the Delver. <laughs> do we think Delver's enough? Uh, dude, you know what? Screw it. We're, gonna, we're going for it. I don't even care. We're gonna see how bad this actually is. So turn one Delver is probably about the best play we can have. We will reveal that, but it's not great for us because we don't have any playables in our hand now. <laughs> Definitely a mistake, should not keep this hand. Uh, and we're just gonna continuously draw stuff. We're gonna play pretty quick here most likely because there's not any decisions to make when you don't have any cards you can play. Cool. I mean, <laughs> looks like we're going to die. Uh, all right, cool. This is hilarious. Uh, yeah, we if this was a green source, we could have so done something, but we just it's not going to happen. Yeah, dude, go for it. The life gain has begun uh, and we're super going to die. <laughs> Uh, are they gonna attack though? No. Oh, okay. Uh, that's actually quite helpful. Um, I'm gonna attack. Block me. Do it. Um, all right. They didn't do it. <laughs> they didn't fall for it, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> Drawing two cards a turn at this point. That's hilarious. Okay. Yep. Uh. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh no, we're so dead. Uh, if we had drawn that green source earlier, we're probably still pretty dead, but I don't know. It is what it is. Yeah, just do the thing. Just gotta resolve all.
Uh. Yeah. We could have fought that off first, but we didn't. Um. We're gonna throw a counter here, though. Uh, we lose this turn, though, I guess, right? They just attack in. Awesome! We're amazing! <laughs> Let's chat about this deck. All right, so obviously an unsuccessful run with this Simic Delver deck, but you know what? It was still really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it was a little bit silly, a little bit janky, but you know, the play pattern is there. I think it needs some tweaking. So I'm, I'm tasking it with you guys. Give me some options. Let me see what kinds of things I can test out with this list. I'd love to revisit this, give it another shot at some point. I think it could be really, really fun. I. I do like it. I think it's a it's an interesting list. When I was against it, it definitely beat me, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it did. And in testing, I I won that first game with it, and that was enough to say, hey, let's test it. But it didn't get there. That's all good. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, please again make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're not already. It would really, really mean a lot. And I will see you guys very soon for some more gameplay videos. I'll see you guys then.